got something. Guys, this ain't no trout. <laughs> but uh, it is a little baby bass. Hey guys, you gotta start somewhere, man. Thank you for biting the little, little large mouth. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another one. Unfortunately, it has been super tough here lately. This is probably the wettest spring I remember in recent history. The rivers are flooded, they are up, they're muddy. Normally that's where I would be at this time of year fishing for those smallmouth. But guys, I don't know when I'll be able to get back in the river, but for now I'm here at Chief Logan Pond here in Logan County. Another reason I'm here is uh, they did stock some gold trout in here the other day, part of the gold rush here in 2024. Not quite sure how many they put in, but today is Monday, it's April the 15th. I thought I would come over here because like I said, you cannot fish the rivers. Even this pond is muddy, but guys, I've been here for a few minutes. I'm gonna throw the Joe's fly around. I've got a black woolly worm, one quarter ounce Joe's fly on, and that is what we caught that little large mouth on, maybe a six inch fish. So, I mean, I know you gotta start somewhere, but uh, we can only go up from here. Let me show you what the lake kind of looks like currently. It was up even higher than this the other day, but as you can see, even this pond, it's pretty muddy just kind of pan around here they are a few people up here there's not that many though i'll probably stage up maybe right in here and just uh work this area for now kind of caught that bass right off the bank right there but guys we'll keep throwing that black woolly worm around it does have a gold blade usually i do better on those and try to maybe throw some of these darker colors and maybe even throw a fire tiger rooster tail that has a lot of bright color on it as well but anyways guys uh, i'll be back in the river as soon as i can chase no smallmouth but for now let's see if we can catch a few trout well just go ahead and make another cast down this bank why don't we kind of sitting the bar low this morning i wasn't expecting that but they are some bass in here wouldn't mind the hooking into a big one I was hoping maybe we could get on some gold trout here today. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll just kind of work this area. Throw this Joe's fly around. As you can see, the water is muddy. It's a little better than it was a couple days ago. The water was up even higher than this. Uh, looks like it's down maybe a couple feet. But uh, we'll throw this quarter ounce black woolly worm around. This Joe's fly had just picked it up. I can't find the black gnat anywhere, but I'll show you guys what I'm using. It's got some black and some red on it here. Do have it on a barrel swivel, but uh, it's got black and red, the two colors, and the gold blade. So that's what we're going to start with. That's what we caught that little bass on. And we'll throw it around here with a little while. If it don't work, we'll probably throw that fire tiger. But uh, I want to try to throw something these fish can see. Looks like the sun might be coming up. I think it's supposed to be in the 70s today. All right, guys, just kind of moving around here a little bit. Since I have the opportunity, like I said, pretty much have the lake to myself. So I'm gonna move around, work these banks. Maybe we can catch a few bass here, but I know they are trout in here. Should be quite a few of them. I think they only stocked maybe four or five days ago. Something like that. So, uh, I don't think they were all caught out over the weekend. I did not want to have to come up here and deal with the crowd, so that's why I waited till weekday. It is Monday, and as you can see, there's hardly anyone here. I would like to hook in to a few of those gold trout. Um, some of them are even tagged too, so wouldn't that be nice if you could somehow be lucky enough to catch a tag to gold but uh i've had two bites that one bass and i had another bite down there on this but other than that that's all the action i've had thus far There's one. 
there's one. We got something bigger, guys. We've got something a little bigger here. What is this? All right, it is. Still haven't caught a trout, but hey, if these fish want to play today, I'll take it. This one here. This one here bit the woolly worm. Little, I don't know, maybe 12, 13 inch fish. Well, guys, we are going up in size. Here is another largemouth. I don't know, I didn't measure him. He's probably 12 or 13 inches. But if the largemouth bass want to play today, we'll play. Thanks for biting, buddy. Like I said, guys, we will fish for bass if the trout do not want to play. I would like to hook into some, though. I knew that was a little better fish uh, than our first one. Like I said, we could only go up from here, setting a bar very low with our first fish, maybe five, six inches. But uh, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. I may just work my way down this bank, as you can see the way I'm going right now, guys. That's our second fish here on the black woolly worm, the quarter ounce Joe's fly. We'll see if we can land a trout on it. I guess only time will tell. But uh, that was a fun, fun fight for that size fish. Like I said, it would be even better if we could hook into one of those big bass, maybe sitting along the bank here in this muddy water. Well, guys, they are getting a little bit bigger. That wasn't a bad bass at all. Uh, expected to come up here and catch some trout. Really wasn't expect to catch bass, but you know what? They will hit those Joe's flies. Right there is the proof, and uh, that was a little bigger fish, maybe 12 inches, maybe 13, something like that. I did not measure it. But uh, still, no trout. But if the bass want to play, like I said, I'm ready to play. And I thought what I would do is just go down the bank here and work this bank. There's uh, very few people here. They may be one other person down that way. But I'm just going to try to cover some water. We'll cast along with the bank. We'll cast out in the middle. And we'll see if we can find a trout. Right now, it's two bass and no trout. But I'm going to keep the Joe's fly on there. I'm pretty confident at some point, sooner or later, We'll hook into a trout. But for those of you who do like smallmouth fishing, uh, you, you follow my channel, uh, you know that's what I love to do. And we, my buddy, was out the other day. And if you guys stick around later in this video, I'll show you a nice, a very nice smallmouth that he caught, a trophy sized smallmouth, as a matter of fact. So we were out on the Tug River. I didn't do any good, but uh, he caught a couple nice ones, including one really good one so later in the video guys if you stick around i'll show that to you but for now let's uh let's cover some water let's head down this way let's make a few casts let's see if we can find another one We finally landed a gold. Chill out, buddy. Well, guys, we've got one. We finally landed a gold. Heck yeah. Chill out, buddy. We'll let you go. All right, guys, one last look at him. We finally landed a gold. Beautiful fish right here. Let's let you go, buddy. Let's let you go. You ready? We'll give him a second here. He's thinking about it. You ready, buddy? 
We finally landed one, guys. That's what I come over here today to do. This one don't have a tag, but hey, he was fun. You about ready, buddy? He's just trying to catch his breath, he said. There he goes, guys. We'll see you, Goldie. Off he goes. Well, guys, it feels good to land our first trout of the day, and it was a gold trout here. It's about a quarter to 11, so it's kind of took me a while. Like I said, I've been covering some water. I've moved around here about halfway around the lake. Had a couple bites in this area, and again, we finally landed our first trout, which was a gold golden rainbow trout so it feels really good hopefully we can hook into another one like i said i just wanted to cover some water and i'll kind of show you guys where i'm at here and where i caught that fish probably about right in that general area you've got uh, several people up there along the dam kind of in this cove i'm going to work this area that's where i've got a couple bites and uh again i've covered a lot of water there is some action up on this end and uh i went around all the way up on the upper end guys and i don't think i've got the first bite but as you can see the sun is starting to come out i hope it stays out and i hope we can catch some more fish it would be nice to land another gold trout but that was my goal today to come up here and to land a gold trout which we did we landed our first one so uh i might have to settle for that since the rivers are up guys i don't know when i'll be able to get back in the river and and chase those smallmouth. but for now i guess i'll have to settle for some trout maybe we'll do some lake fishing and maybe we'll do some pond fishing for some bass that is about the only option that i have at this point but guys i hope that sun stays out i hope we can catch some fish so uh, stick with me here let's see if we can make it happen Guys, this is a beautiful place. Guys, I've never had a chance to come to Chief Logan State Park here in Logan County. When you get the chance, you ought to. There's not only some fishing to do here, there is other outdoor activities as well. Um, it's just a beautiful place. Seems like they take pretty good care of it. You see a lot of wildlife, see a lot of white-tailed deer, which are protected in this area. It's just a beautiful place to come out, maybe picnic, just to get out for a little while. You could bring the kids, you could even do some fishing like I'm doing right now. In hopes of catching some bass, some trout, there's even catfish in here. Right now guys, I have switched baits. I have the Glow Tiger quarter ounce Joe's fly on here. With the silver blade, we'll see if we can get bit on it. It's a little different color here. It's got some white, green, and yellow colors. So I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but the sun is out. I'm hoping it does glow in this water. And maybe the trout can see it, but for those of you who've never seen a glow tiger, Joe's fly, that's what it looks like, guys. It's got the silver blades, got green, white, and yellow. 
colors. We're going to throw it around here a little while and see if we can get bit. Just thought I'd switch it up here, throw a little different color and see what happens. Well, folks, I believe I'm going to have to wrap it up here from Chief Logan State Park today. I was able to come over here and catch a few fish. You wouldn't believe how tough it has been lately. There's been many times, guys, where you go out and you don't even catch a fish. But I want to show you the realities of fishing. I mean, that's just how it is. Anyone who fishes understands that. But uh, I was happy to come out here, catch a couple bass. And what I come over here for was the golden trout. And I happened to catch one of those as well. So I had some fun being out here. It is a beautiful day. And I'm going to wrap it up once again here from Chief Logan State Park. If you guys ever get the opportunity to come over this way here in Logan County, it is a beautiful place. There's a lot of things to do. And I just enjoyed being out here today so i'm going to leave you like i said earlier in the video with the catch uh, that my buddy made this wasn't but maybe about a week ago uh, mike and i were out on the tug fork river i didn't do any good but he caught a couple fish including one that i'm sure he's not going to forget so i'm going to leave you with that guys and i can't wait to these rivers get back down to normal so we can get back to fishing for some smallmouth but i hope you enjoy the rest of the video guys and i'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching uh-oh hang on to it keep him hooked buddy mike has got a smallmouth Heck yeah! Woo. You got a good one. Woo. There you go. All right. Mike has got a good fish. Come up here, we'll get a white measure on him. Here, Mike. God sakes, and that thing hit like a. I ain't kidding, Frank. That thing hit like a I thought I was hung. When I set the hook, I said, damn, I'm hung up. What'd you catch him on? Spinnerbait. Okay. I, I, I said, damn, I'm hung up. That white one? Yeah, no, that's bluegill. Okay. Blue and black? Yep. That one, that one I bought. I thought I was hung up, and all of a sudden it popped back. I said, no, I ain't hung up. Okay. You, get, get, you clear? I forgot the name them actually hook. You got it? What do you think he is? Four pounds. Four thirteen. Four thirteen. All right. Just for the heck of it. Yeah. We'll, make, we'll make sure the net's under him. Make sure the net's under your mic. You got it? Yep. Hold on. You had to take her back up. Oh. You were saying 412. 412. Let's get a good official. Four pounds. 12 ounces. Nice fish, man. We'll get him in the water and then we'll get him on the board. What did that measure out? 21 and a half. 21 and a half. There's your fish four pounds 12 ounces beautiful fish man thank you baby later mr uh smallmouth it's a beautiful fish yeah see if she'll come out this way in the sunlight that's a pretty fish man I believe she's ready there she goes all right Nice job, man. Good job.